Welcome everybody to episode 108 of the effing title and this week as per every week from now on this is my co-host Danu. Danu, how you doing? I'm doing pretty well. Doing pretty Enjoying good. this this Saturday. Yeah. This, this pre-recorded. No, no, here's now here's, now here's here's my question, okay? Cuz I uh, what 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 yeah, yeah. Now here's the other uh, so two questions, right? I see the candle, right? We see the candle flicker in there like a little flicker, right? Okay. Now this is the thing, okay? Now do you say scent or do you say flavor? Scent. Cuz I always say flavor, bro. I call is that them, a British thing? I don't know. I call them smelly things most. Well, so that's a candle, obviously. Well, so I got. I, have, bal- I have one of these. Fresh I have, balsam. I have one of these. Is that one of those scent holders? It's yeah. like a gel. Is it a gel? All right. No, it's a liquid. This one's a liquid. It's a liquid, and then it's got a little. Like, what is it? I don't know. It's like, a, it's like a. Papaya, What's the flavor? It's papaya mango or something like that. I can go for flavor, but like my head doesn't automatically go. To See, flavor. I, I was well, so that like that. I call a smelly thing. Because we get them at work, and that is a smelly thing. Yeah, yeah, right. That's the only way yeah. that I can explain it. It's like it's a smelly thing, like you know. But fair. Um, how's how was your week, man? How was your week? A good week. It's pretty good. Uh, I rode my motorcycle to work one day this week. <laughs> it was sixty-five. It was sixty degrees I was when say, I left for work at six thirty. We had we had one day this week. For everyone that doesn't Wednesday. know, we, we're in the we're in the great white north. We're in the northeast. We actually had a decent week this week with weather. Like we had like one or two days that were nice, and then just out of nowhere yesterday and today we got a winter storm warning, and we got a foot of snow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's all back now. Yeah, I ro- yeah I literally rode my motorcycle to work Wednesday with a dumb smile on my face, like, I- <laughs> <laughs> and then I- we got a foot of snow last night. So yeah, yeah as per fucking usual. Oh, as per fucking usual. The Great White North. Oh, God. I don't know what I just did. I bumped the top of my headset and everything went weird. You can't get there from here. You can't get there from here. Um, um, I don't know, but how was your week? I need to ask you. How was your week? My week was a nightmare. It was fun. It was fun. <laughs> it was a nightmare. Um, we had a wor- uh, at work, we had a bunch of stuff not showing up, and it was a lot more than I thought it was. So I didn't pre-prepare myself for work this week, like that sort of thing. So like I got into work, and I'm like, all right, cool. Let's knock this shit out on Monday. Got in on Monday, did like five orders. I'm like, awesome. I could start. And then I looked at the other sheet and it was like, there's like seven more orders, a bunch of fuck, like thousands of fucking items going out. Bunch of shit not here, a bunch of shit showing up late, a bunch of shit that has to be pushed. I'm like, <sighs> and that's all from like, so you're like, many vendors send it to you and then so you we, put so, it together. Well, so we get it from, we're the third party. So we get it from, okay. we, we talk to the companies. Um, Get the get the product ideas. We have China make it for us. China ships it to us, and then we ship it out to the respective places. You're the body to. art broker. Exactly. Which we're 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 we're, 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 we're we're going to potentially be getting back into doing our own shit. Um, Ooh. Which, yeah, we're under our own name again. So that'd be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, no. Right now, it's just it, like like I said, it was just like I had like one order where like two things were gone, two things were completely missing, and one had to be pushed. I'm sitting there like. So, of course, when you're packing and doing stuff, right, you just kind of, it's, it, your brain goes into auto drive, especially, I've been doing it for like 10 years now, so the brain goes into auto drive, you're just kind of fucking just moving. When shit like that happens, it just completely throws everything out of whack. You're like, it's, this isn't right. Exactly. Well, like, like, I can't do this. Well, like, I, I got a full order done, racked up on my desk. I, so I rack and stack it, so you rack it in stacks of 50 in the bags and everything, right? Yeah. And then, so I got it all up, but I'm missing the middle item. And I can't see it anywhere. I can't see anything in the emails. I can't see. It. So like, I call my dad, who's my boss, and I'm like, I was like, can you can you come out here and see if this is here? He comes out back, opens the door, goes 201. I was like, yeah, 201. He goes, yeah, it's not gonna be here in time. I was like, oh. So what do you do with that? You just like you just leave it in limbo. You just like you're like, so All like right, this depend- thing's half packed. Well, it's one of those things. Depending on like so like that one, I just shipped it as four, and we just fucking sent it. As if it didn't exist. Sometimes what we'll do is we'll hold on if it's like supposed to come in in time. So like we had we had a bunch of stuff where it came in on Thursday, so we shipped it Friday, so I could like I just did partial order and then I waited for it to come in. But like this you're one, like, like you wrote a little sticky note, you're like you'll get the rest later. Well, exactly right. Like like this one though, like I shipped it yesterday and China shipped it to us yesterday. So like oh. it, yeah, it was one of those things. It's like it's like yeah, we just shipped that shit and we just go we 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 go to the vendor and we go sorry. Um, can we push Blame this one? China. Like, you know, yeah, basically, you know, um, this yeah, is the so. most I've ever heard you talk about work. I don't like talking about work, bro. It's not fun. You, it's just, it's just, it's, it's just, it's, it's no, oh, I'm not, I'm not against it. Oh, yeah, no, I know. I, I, I try my best not to just cause I don't know. 
Yeah. Of, of course, I don't. I don't think many of the people that I work with watch any of my stuff anyway. But um, one, I'm probably gonna say something stupid at some point. But two, um, it's just it's it's just it's it's time consuming and mind numbing. That's all it is at this point. Like like to someone who has like if I were like to fully explain to you like exactly what I do, you'd find it really interesting. But to me, it's just mind numbing now. That's been like like I said, ten fucking years that I've been there. You know. Yeah, I don't talk about work. there. I have friends that uh, I've known. I've like known close for like four years and you're like what do you do for work and mm -hmm. I'm like what do you mean what do i do for work like oh, yeah. i <laughs> i what <laughs> well, it's like it was like this week like i didn't stream i didn't stream wednesday morning like i normally do yeah i didn't stream at all thursday i think and then i streamed friday night which i never stream friday night and i streamed friday night for like four hours of just lost arc so. i did see you pop on late last night <laughs> mm -hmm. yep i just i yeah. was like i was like fuck it i'm just gonna get on and play some lost arc I got drunk and played Hell Let Loose last night. I was going to say, I saw that in Discord, because I had my Discord up when me and John were talking, and I saw that you were on Hell Let Loose. I was like, ah, dude's back on Hell Let Loose. Look at that. We do it every once in a while, and, uh... Yeah, no, yeah. yeah I, like, I got drunk, and then I ate pizza at 11, a, uh, 11 mm. p.m., and then I pl I passed out. I had some weird dreams last night. <laughs> Those weird pizza dreams. Well, I actually watched a bunch of anime, so, like, my dreams were, like, mm. from the anime. Fair. I'm really behind on my anime, bro. Oof. I've been crushing Black Clover again. I got season one of Black Clover, Clover for free. With oh, Xbox, yeah? oh with it Xbox was Game anime Pass. week or something? Yeah, with Xbox Game yeah. Pass. Yeah, they gave that shit away for free. So I was like, yes. Don't know what it is. Doubt I'll ever watch it, but hey, I have it's, it now. It's uh, Nero Toe with Magic. Ah, Magic Row. That's all. Yeah, exactly. Um, It's good. I've heard good I'm things about it. Yeah, I'm, uh, I think I have like five episodes left, and then uh, then it's done. Uh, it's not done, but it might be. My, my, it might be done. Done. It, like it's, it, it could be one of those things where it's like it's done for right now, but yeah, they don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't think they really. They haven't released what they're going to do with it yet. They might make a movie. They might, or it just might be done. The one, that, um, the one that sucks for me right now is that because I, I watch all my stuff in dub because I can't. Subs really difficult for me. I like have to actually like focus. It's the attention thing. It's the ADHD <clears> thing. <throat> was that but then like i have to like super focus on it because like i'll miss words because i can i'm fucking slow reading it how fast sometimes it is and they're like la, 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 la. yeah like i'm trying to read that and also pay attention to the anime like you know it's like yeah but um so yeah so there's a lot of it that i watch is in dubbed so on country roll every now and then i'd be like oh look this anime that you like just had a new episode i'm like awesome and then i go look and it's like the french dub or the german dub or it's just the regular subbed and i'm like sitting there like that's that's not what that's not what I. I... So, so what do you ha what's your opinion on that? So I know that that's so you could it's easier for you, but do you think that some dubs are bad? Um, well, it's one of those things. I don't watch a whole lot of subbed. Okay. I've only watched a couple of subs. Um, my yeah. thing is just the fact of like, for me, it's easier because it's one of those things where I'm just used to that, right? Um, there are, like, for instance, this, this upcoming year, I'm probably going to watch my first anime fully in sub, which is going to be, uh, season two of, uh, Rising of the Shield Hero. Because okay. I, because I doubt that they're going to have the dub out immediately. I think they will, because it's fun really? Yeah. Interesting. Like, now with these, like, big, some of these big ones, they're really seeing, they're, they're if, doing simulcast with, uh, dub and sub. If they do the dub and sub, I'll probably watch the dub first. But, like, there's some, like, I remember, uh, God of High School, I went back and I started watch. I started to watch that in sub. But it's one of those things, like I said, like, I have to actually, like, sit down and, like, fully mm -hmm. pay attention. And I think that's the biggest thing for me is that, like, I think that that's the toughest part is the, like, I know there's people out there that can just kind of, like, have it on and, like, either they know the language or they are very quick readers. They don't or, know the language. Right? Like, you know. Um, <laughs> I know. I'm just, I'm just... But, like, you know, so, like, for me, though, it's just it's easier just hearing it in English. That's my thing. No, it is. Uh, so my, I'm, if anyone's listening to this, they're going to hate it. There are, like, there are dubs that are better than the subs and there are subs that are better than dubs like juju kaisen mm -hmm. like that's dub is awful um the dub for black clover is really bad uh the i do like, like how then... the dub and the sub some kinds of like fully change mm -hmm. like the the entire like the entire aspect of the conversation i saw it on yeah. i saw one on tiktok where i was like it was a girl riding and like she's riding on a bike and like whipping a guy like trying to get him to like fucking like exercise or whatever and he's like he's like god damn it why does she have to be so beautiful and so mean to me and then like the english dub is like the english dub is like god why can't that seat be my face <laughs> i'm like 
Oh my god. Uh, I will say it. The dub for Attack on Titan is better than the sub. I've, that's one that's... I, 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 this is going to be another one. Wa- you don't need to watch it. Well, no, I, oh, yeah, I, I already know where you're going with it. Yeah, I, I don't... I'm, there's a couple of them, bro. There's a couple of animes. I'm just like, you know what? I don't, I don't want to watch this. And people will yeah. be, people were, and like, it's funny because like I'll say that, and a lot of people will like bloodthirstily like come after me, like, oh no 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 no, you have to watch, you have to, and I'm sitting there like, mm, you make my case more not to watch it right now, just so you know, like. I'm really happy you got into Rise of the Shield Hero because not a lot of people got into that, and that one, not mm-hmm. that that I know at least. Man. That was like immediately as soon as as soon as I saw it was like you know it's like it was. The shield hero is kind of the one that everyone makes jokes of, and he's the like you know the ha ha he he you know oh you're just a defense guy you can't fucking do anything, and like immediately as soon as he was like portrayed as the villain, even though he's just a guy just trying to do his like just doing his best, he no, you know he had no choice. Yeah, he just you know, was like, what the fuck, dude? like as soon as it, like it was that I was like I was like, kind of like okay I'm full I fully embrace and understand this guy, and then especially like the rage the rage shield how it just kind of like that manifests into like a part of the per- like the character. I was like I was just like I'm sitting there I'm like this is a very good example of like kind of the people who feel like they've been misused mistreated. You know, as a character, dude was accused of rape. Yeah, <laughs> like she just straight up accused him as, of rape. Like well, that for, dub is first that dub's really good. First episode when that happened, I'm sitting there, and I'm like, "What the fuck is going on?" Like, yeah, what is, like, like <laughs> and then of course she straight then, up used him and then accused him of yeah, rape. Used him, accused him of rape, and then in the second episode, he gets a slave. I'm sitting there like, "What the f-? like?" The, that's what like I, it's that's how my buddy got me like he that's how he's like it's and it's like like this happens so then he can't attack anything so mm-hmm. he enslaves a girl and is like and she falls in love with him oh yeah rap Talia is fucking that's mm, that's yeah. that's uh, i will say this right now that's anime wifey number one for me boom right on oh the really board. boom one who's two i don't know yet i, I mean I don't, i'd have to think about that one uh, hmm. Rap Tally is really the only, the main one. I mean, you know what, who, who would probably be? I can't think of her name now because I haven't watched it in a while, but it's the girl in, uh, in, uh, God of High School. Okay, I still watched it. God of High School is, a, God of High School is an interesting one. The, from what I've heard from people, the, uh, the, I don't, it, it's not manga. It's like manga though. It's, it's No. <laughs> Close. Um, no, it's, um, God, what the fuck is it? Uh, anyways, it's it's like the it's, it's like the manga version of it that's on the that's online. Um, that is a lot better than the show, and that's people got really upset about that because like, the, like that came out first, and then the show came out. But I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a good one. Have you uh, heard of anything? Heard anything about? Uh, was it Chainsaw Man? Or the- Chainsaw. It's uh, it's a one that's coming out. Hobo with, like a, really... Hobo with a shotgun. <laughs> it's a guy who like he, from what I gather, he, he's like he's got like superhuman abilities. But what happens is that his arms and his head turn into a chainsaw. Uh... <laughs> is it Chainsaw Man? I have not heard of that, but that sounds fucking. Yeah, it's Chainsaw weird. Man. It is that Chainsaw sounds Man. Fucking incredible. And that, so like that's a show that's coming out soon. Like it's literally like if yeah, look it up real quick. It's like his arms and head, yeah. Um, That's, I mean, that just sounds great. First of all, but it's supposed it's like it's like I think it's one of the most hyped up Chainsaw. animes right now that's coming out. Chainsaw Man anime. It's the very first fucking thing that came up. Yeah, um, what we know so far, <laughs> bro. This looks like a fucking horror show. It's, it is going to be very violent, because, I mean, how can you not have a man who fights with chainsaws not be gross? Oh, bro, yeah, that's <laughs> fucking wild looking. I'm looking at the uh, uh, the Jump Comics of it image, and that looks fucking crazy. I'll tell you what, the, the design of the helmet, that's fucking yeah. cool looking. Yeah, like the helmet with the, mm. like, his unicorn chainsaw coming out. That's fucking cool looking. All right, I'm intrigued. So, and there's another show I've been meaning to watch. It's made, I think Hold it's made by the same guy. Okay. Before, ahead, before, we, before we move on, there's a puppy with a chainsaw coming out of its head next to him in this image that I have here. I'm on board. You're like, in. Well, the puppy in. also looks like a butt. I'm all in now. You've got me in. There's uh, also Mob Psycho 100 I've been meaning to watch. Mob Psycho 100. I watched the first couple episodes. That's, uh, I think it. <laughs> 
The guy who made One Punch Man made that too. Oh, okay, One Punch Man is one of those other ones I just never like. I, I, one Punch Man, Attack on Titan, uh, Bleach. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the other big ones, Naruto. Sword um, Art. Sword Art. Sword Art. I've kind of been intrigued by, but I just don't think I found the dub for. It's more oh, of like Netflix. it's more of like the tradition, like the traditional kind of like the big like One Piece, like you know, like those sort of ones. The big three. Yeah, like anytime I hear like some of those, I'm just like, yeah, okay, I'll get to them. You know, I'll get to them eventually. You know, uh, and really in the back of my head, I'm just those, like, I'm not gonna get to. Them. Out of all those, you should watch One Punch. And I hate that you, you people when people say that to you, but I uh, I think you should watch One Punch Man. It's two seasons. That's it. It. Yeah. Which one is the one that's like fucking eighteen seasons or some bullshit? I don't. Uh, I think uh, One Piece is still going. That's, I think that might be it. And they're in, th- in like the thousands of episodes now. Yeah, fuck that. That, um, ain't, that ain't happening. Bleach. I never. I've never even watched Bleach. I had some people uh, tell me to watch Bleach. I, like, I, like it's funny because like um, one one of one of the other streamers, uh, Red Halo. Um, I have an anime section in my Discord hmm. now where I where I update what animes I'm watching, sort of thing, and then like I give like a, like a favorite, a loved, and then a not a fan, sort of thing to each one. And he looked at the list and like he knows a lot of animes. Yeah. And he's like he was reading through this. He's like I don't know half these. And I'm sitting there like that's kind of cool, you know. But then like I read the list that he gave for me, and I'm sitting there and I'm like just like a lot of them are just like uh, Attack on Titan, Cowboy Bebop, uh, Full Metal Alchemist, um, Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen. You know, uh, like some of these I'm just like no, like I just don't want to like no. Oh, uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Yes, that's yeah. I've I've heard I've heard so much good about it, but then at the same time, yeah. like it's like it's one of those ones where it's just like I said, it's that you know, like the continuous, you know, like almost like forced, like oh, you have to watch it, you know. And it's uh, like it's like. So my one thing about Brotherhood, it's like an abridged version of Full Metal Alchemist. Okay. So there's only I think there's only like sixty episodes. Okay. Uh, yeah, only sixty episodes. <laughs> no, it's and it's it's newer, so the animation's better. Mm. I just I think that's that's like because like I hate when things drag on too long. Cause like, <clears throat> that, that's why I like Demon Slayer because mm. the arcs aren't super long. Well, that was the thing with like uh, the, like that was the thing I thought they did well with uh, Rise of the Shield Hill is the arcs felt very kind of. They How felt, many episodes was there? Twenty five? Something like that. It's not that many. Twenties? Yeah, yeah it's, it wasn't in, that many. But it's like. The, the the arc felt very like it almost didn't feel like an arc because it was just so fluid in in, in to, from one section into the next sort of thing. Yeah, you know, like, like one of the ones that I was I was watching for a long time. Um, Dana got me into it was uh, Hunter Hunter, mm-hmm. and then in the Chimera Ant arc, which is. Uh, Arguably, it's so long. It's so long. <laughs> I just, it's I like, so I, I, bro, I'm think I'm at like episode like 106 or something like that. Like, I'm yeah. like, I'm, I'm like right at the end of the Chimera Ant arc, and I just haven't had the power to finish it because it's just like I'm sitting there like, dude, I, pow- I had to power through it, and and you have to watch it in Japanese. There's no, um, the English dub H- after HBO. Uh, HBO Max had the dub up until I forgot what number it was, but it was a it's good like seventy or something. It's like weird. No, 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 seven. No, on HBO Max it's up to like one hundred something. Mm. Uh, oh, I'm thinking Naruto. Uh, Naruto is overrated. I'll say it. I, bro, I'm going to say this right now. It was one of the things I've talked about before. I just don't know if I've talked about it on. on like the podcast um i like i never got into animes when i was in high school i tried to get into animes and i figured out why i can never get into animes as a younger as um, a youth yes as a young youth um was because it was one of those things where every fucking anime just does they, they they just drop you into the universe and expect you to know everything and as a youth i'm sitting there like like Naruto, right? They just drop you into it, and it's just like, oh yeah, this is the world, this is the people, this is the stuff. And I'm sitting there like, I don't understand what's, why is this, ha- who is, what is the, you know? Now as an adult, that I'm one, like, no. it's, be- it's just, there was no way to watch anime then. You had to like catch it on tsunami. Oh yeah, exactly. So, like, that's that my, too. So I'll, I'll, I'll just, the, you, Naruto does a good job with story building, but it just it does it in like 130 episodes. So. And it, like it's just uh, I'm all set. So like I, I have friends that are super into Naruto. So then I watch Shippuden. Shippuden. I never know how to say it. Yeah. Uh, up until a certain point, because they said after that it like 
will ruin your opinion of the show. So Hunter Hunter goes up until 148 on HBO mm. Max, and I'm at 124. Oh. So I'm like I'm like right at the end. Like I said, I just it went from it went from me watching that to I watched God of High School, then I watched Tower of uh, the Tower of God. I think it was. Yeah, Tower of God, and then I just, I started kind of veering off and watching, like, I was finding my own animes at that point, which was kind of yeah. that cool thing once you start finding your own, you know, and then it just went from there, and I just fucking, the list is just on and on and on, you know. Uh, part, yeah, I don't know, it's, uh, I say finish it just to finish it, well, yeah, but you're that's... not gonna be, like, happy with it. I mean, I probably won't, I mean, I've seen... I, I spoil watched... something for you? I mean, Sure. It's not what happens, okay. I guess, per se. Well, I, I, mean, I've, I mean, you might as well fucking, because I've already had it spoiled a little bit for me because um, of the... Uh... Well, he, so I will say, uh, he, uh, what's the main character's name? Gar? Gar? Uh, Gone. 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 There we go, Gone. Gone. He, <laughs> I knew it was some stupid guttural noise. <laughs> um, <laughs> he, uh, he eventually finds his dad. Okay. And his dad is truly just a deadbeat dad. <laughs> Like, he's just a deadbeat dad who's like, yeah, I did this all for you so you could grow stronger. <laughs> and, like, I don't know. He's just as, like, yeah, he's, $20. Just a, he's just a bum. He's just a bum. And, like, they're all like, oh, he's, like, he's so amazing. He's just a bum that didn't raise his son. Yeah. That's how you make a good anime character right there. <laughs> yeah, he's just a, yeah, his dad's just a bum. And, like, you find that out and, like, you, you have, like, you, like, he, you, Actually, you kind of, you might have, you've definitely met him before, like. Oh, is he, he one? Like, is he like a like a character like that they've shown sort of thing? He's popped up at one point. If you are where you are, he's popped up. I think. Okay. Um, because I know they've done a bunch of flashbacks with him. No, like he's actually been like, like in the same in, room. In, in, as, oh shit! Yeah, right. so he's he's just a real he's a he's a fucking deadbeat dad. Is I'll is say, is, is, is it Hosoko? Is that <laughs> no? It's no, and they're like his name. It, what is it? his name? Is like Glenn or something? What's his dumb name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think his name's Glenn. Yeah, <laughs> it's not Glenn, but <laughs> no, no, like, no. Uh, I think it actually is Glenn, though. <laughs> I think you're yeah, right. Yeah, it's something <laughs> stupid. And like, um, all right, now I have to look it up because I'm like, <clears throat> I'm trying to think of the uh... oh, gang. Gene. Oh, Gene. Yeah, Gene. Gene. Glenn Gene. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Some of this stupid. <laughs> like, um, he's just a fucking deadbeat. <laughs> so, uh. Where's like, um, uh, Isaac uh, Netero there? The old, the old dude? There? The, like, the old guy with the fucking beard and the little fucking, like, uh. Oh, the, the, the head of the, uh, Monster Hunter <laughs> yeah. administration. Like, that, yeah. that dude, I did a fucking, like, uh, um,. Uh, like a personality test or whatever, and then like you do that, and then you type in like anime characters also have the same one, and he did. So I watched a video and immediately spoiled the f fucking final fight with him and the king there, the Kamara king, and I'm like, fuck, you know. But Boss like, the, but at the same, yeah, at the same time though, I'm sitting there, I was like fucking getting hyped up for that shit. So yeah, no, it's, it, that's one that I've just I've wanted to finish. I just haven't. Mm -hmm. How are you liking Lost Ark? Lost Ark, oh, bro, I I play that fucking game way too much already. I'm, I'm, you were I'm, like, I'm, I'm not gonna, probably not gonna play it. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was like, I was like, you know, what? I'm probably just gonna I'll play it one, once or twice on and off here or there. And then I started playing, and I'm like, this is actually a really kind of fun game just to fuck around with. And I was talking to Sturge about it, and I I know why it is. And of course, like I've never played a true MMO before. Like I played mm -hmm. I played Terra for four hours. I played Black Desert Online for three hours, and then my Xbox went back to the main screen. Like, literally, it was just like, nope, we're done playing this game. <laughs> like, on a horse, riding along, having a good time. Nope, back to the main Xbox screen. Um, so, like, I've been having a lot of fun with it, though, with Terra. And, I like, it, for me, it's the fact of, like, you can basically do whatever the fuck you want. Like, you really yeah. don't have to do the main story. Like, last night, before I got off stream, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go adventuring. So I literally went through the rest of the island that I'm not supposed to go through yet. I just went through it because I can. I went through it and opened up all the fucking teleport areas. I'm like, they're done. Like, now I can get offline. Like, Well, I think the, it's such, like, a fleshed-out game mm -hmm. for, like, it to launch as a fleshed-out well, game. I think that... Which you don't get anymore. I think that it, it's been released, I think, in Europe. 
it, and if I, I remember, was if I remember released in Korea, yeah, it was it was it, like it's Maybe been released and it's been out for like a year or two. It's just now it's been released here in the U.S. and like so like he, of course there's always the typical. Because I was watching something from uh, Asmongold about it, and he was said that there's always the typical kind of MMO problems. He's like, but the fact that this is just coming out, and they've already kind of, you know, a lot of these problems have been, you know, kind of already met with and kind of dealt with. You know, he said it was fucking great. I've been, like I said, I've been really enjoying it. You know, I'm a paladin. I just got a new. I just got a new ability. Or I just, I just, I fully maxed up one of my abilities. Let me put it like that, and it is the yeah. fucking coolest thing ever now. You build your deck, <clears throat> so I, bro, I've been trying to do that. I, I, so I actually have my deck now to the point where there's six cards. Three of them connect, two of them connect, and then I just have one random card. So I'm actually I played it. I just like I <laughs> pick it up these little things. Oh yeah, it, it, yeah. I would say give it a try. It's, it's uh, especially for a free game. It's a lot yeah, of fun. Yeah, I have it. Well, so I literally, I sat down to play it. I'm like, I'm going to do it. And then I was in the tutorial, and I got called into work, and I went, mm. nah. Yeah. And I haven't played it since. Yeah, no. I, I just bought Elden Ring on Thursday, and I haven't played it yet. I, no, did you buy uh, that on PC, or did you buy that on console? Yeah, I bought it on PC. I bought oh, it on PC. no. There's a lot of problems with console, but with PC, apparently. Apparently, the PC, uh, from, what I, from what I heard on, on um, online and what I've been seeing is that there's more problems on PC than there are on console with it. Um, from what I see, it's just a lot of stuttering, but... So, um, Obrota said that the, uh, the, there's, like, a 20 frame issue. I guess 20 frames less than what it's supposed to be. It's like you'll be mid-fight, and then suddenly you're just dead. Like, that sort of thing. And he said, but apparently on console, though, especially if you're the newer consoles, it's perfect. Like, there's no problems mm -hmm. at all. Because he said that he got it on PC, he played a little bit, and they said, fuck this, and he's gonna go play, buy it on, uh, his PlayStation we'll see. now. I don't know, I haven't played it yet. <clears throat> I don't I, know either, I, I just... Friend... Because I'm looking at I'm looking at my friends list right now on Steam. Mm -hmm. This guy has 20 hours, 15 hours, 12 hours, five. I mean, yeah. people are playing it. All right, of course. Yeah. Frankie, Frankie's got 16 hours. Yeah, yeah. I saw Frankie on Lost He's... Ark. I think. What's up? I think I saw Frankie on Lost Ark. I think. Depends with... Oh yeah, I don't. Uh, what server are you on? I'm on. Well, I mean. I'm on uh, the Regulus one. But I saw it on Discord. I said his name. and it's... Oh, it is Regulus. Yeah, mm -hmm. we, like, that's the one they're on. Yeah. So, I mean, that's the one I made my character on. We could play. Let's go. Yeah, I made a guild right. and everything. Got the Husky Kingdom already set up on there and everything. You know, got the cool logo. No idea what it well, means. It's, it's, like... Yeah, it is funny because I think, I think it is Regulus. <coughs> uh, um, is it Regulus? Mm. Did you send me... The MGK Lincoln Park cover TikTok. I think I sent you one of them. Okay. Yeah. I uh, okay. Can we talk about that for a moment. I want to talk about that for a moment. Yeah, yeah. Go for I'm it. Go for it. Because as you know, I like. I actually like. I like MGK. I know. Oh, oh, and you like you listen. You sent like a crying emoji back. <laughs> <laughs> well, so okay. So the thing with that, right? This is the thing that kind of is funny for me. For that, do you know when he made that cover? It's probably like five years ago. Yeah, four years ago. It was, it was like right after fucking Chester, like, you know. Well, so, because, like, uh, well, that was definitely when he was doing his, like, uh, mm -hmm. stuff like Youngblood. And then Travis <clears throat> Travis Barker produced, like, all of his music, so. Well, it, I'm just finding it funny that, like, everybody, like, it's just, like, it's now, like, the new thing. Like, everyone ripping on him for that. And I'm sitting there, like, you guys realize that, like, he did that years ago, right? Like, that's... <laughs> well, people are pretty out, like I think people are done with them because like uh, I know people hate that new emo girl song. Yeah, and then they're, like yeah. it's like a predatory song, and then like <laughs> they dug into his tweets. Did you see the one tweet he had from like 2010? Which one was the one? That, uh, it was literally, it was literally like, damn, these 13, 14, 15 year olds are looking great. Like, why do they got to look so good? Oh Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> like I know he's that, like, I'm, and he's literally like, dude, I'm only 19. These four, 13, 14 year olds are looking real good. Uh, <laughs> like, it, you're, like, you're, you're like, uh... I just like I his music, it bro. Is... Like, <laughs> no, no, I like, not, that, I like that, some of his music. The, the emo girl one is, yeah, no, I've, I, I, I. I'll say this: the funny thing, the funny thing about the emo girl one is though, is that he put out a teaser of it, and the teaser was fucking great. I'm like, all right, this is cool. This is this could be a good song. And then the full song came out, and I'm like, this is fucking trash. 
Like, what the fuck did I just listen to? You know, I like, I like that last album he put out. <clears throat> I like, I've, like, it's one of those things. I don't really, album wise, I don't really follow a whole lot of people. I just kind of know, like, I just do songs every now and then that I'll like that I'll like, and I'll be like, all right, cool. Yoink, Spotify, yeah. you know, and like a lot of his ones are just like you know, they're just kind of you know the the chill kind of you know punky old school punky sort of you know vibe, and I'm like, all right, that's something that I can just kind of chill and vibe with, you know. It's like it's not, but that's not how he always was. He's exactly like, he's he's like truly genre hopped, but he like genre hopped once he got fucked over by Eminem. Yeah, um, well, it's and it's funny because like I, <clears throat> I'm still gonna say that I think the MGK won that. Okay. So so okay so here's my thing here's my thing right okay so yeah, yeah. M cool, M M's, re, M's rebuttal was both rebuttals were kind, both attacks were kind of you know or, or disses were kind of whatever right MGK's yeah. was like a, just a song M's was like a true like I'm just gonna diss you but the thing is though is like since M's came out M has just kind of done what he's done and even the diss wasn't that good I thought it it really wasn't that good. Uh, it, I don't think necessarily that the disc was good, that the, the track was good. Because, like, MGK's track wasn't that great. M- well, that's like, the thing. is like, MGK's as, track as a was a song. In my, like, I don't see yeah. it as a diss track. This shit's corny, dude. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, like, his, you know... But, like, my thing is this was, it's like, if you look at where MGK was before that, before the quote-unquote kill shot, and where he is after the quote-unquote kill shot, he's gotten more popular... His, I would say he's arguably found where he should be. I don't know. I still look at him like an industry plant. I don't really look at him as like purely as an industry a talent. Plant. Okay. Yeah, because like, I mean, if you look at like a lot of the like the singers now, it's mm-hmm. like a lot of the ones. That, why are they getting pushed? Like you know, like I hate to say it, Lil Nas is an industry plant, and I I like his music. There's one but of those like, that just recently I've been listening to a lot of. Yeah, but like he doesn't really tour because like the, he tried to tour, and like he they couldn't sell tickets. Like they oh, yeah. like like he, there was like a four thousand seat. Like there, he was trying to go to like a bunch of four thousand seat theaters, mm-hmm. and they couldn't even sell like a thousand tickets. That's wild. And, but like he's like propelled to the front of like all these things. Whereas like other you know like JoJo Siwa just played down the street from me, and that that was sold out. It's and, very like, it's very odd seeing kind of the. I guess almost like the generational um, shift in music, right? Because we, we've always we've always known the generational shift as it's gone on. We've just kind of never really been at a point now where, like, like you're saying, like Lil Nas has some of the biggest songs out there, but he can't sell out a fucking you know four thousand yeah. seat, you know. Area. But JoJo Siwa can, and I don't know any of her songs. Exactly, I didn't even realize that she was singing songs. So I mean, yeah, <laughs> no, that's why she's like relevant now. And she was on like Dance Moms, but. Now she's like, it's like actually like a pretty pretty positive message. I can't flood my words. She, I mean, I think she's like twenty. Mm-hmm. She's like an open lesbian. Like mm-hmm. she just came like, out pe- recently. Yeah, Other people are like pretty accepting. The the one, I mean, uh, I'm 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 still waiting. I got to figure out what his name is now before I butcher this. But um, oh, uh, uh, let me just make sure I am right here. Yeah, Jacob Sartorius. When's Jacob getting back out there, bro? I don't know who that is. Yo, you know who Jacob Sartorius is. If you is look, that if you Spider-Man? no, if you look him up right now, you and like look at a picture of him, you don't know who he is. Also, I didn't realize he's like, so he did um his his big song. Also, I didn't realize that he literally put out a new song three weeks ago. So, <laughs> um, his big song was a sweatshirt. You can wear my sweatshirt. That one, no. What what are you talking about? I'm open. I have to open up Spotify now. Hold on. Yeah, I'll open up Spotify. Look up Jacob Sartorius sweatshirt. As soon as you start hearing some of the words, you'll either know it or you won't. I know it because I used to fuck around with my assistant, and we used to fucking pl- like blare this stuff at work. Um, and a bunch of his songs we changed the lyrics to. So like we had our own fucking versions that we would sing. So sweatshirt has 32 million mm-hmm. plays on. Yeah, bro, get with it. Come on now. It has 15 million. As actually has 15 the mu- lyric video has 15 million. The music video has 59 million. Yeah, I've never heard this. 
<laughs> oh, so he's like 15 when he sang that song, by the way. Uh, he sound, he's like a, a, a 15, male 16. Rebecca Black. Yeah, exactly. But like, like, apparently he came out with a new song called Fear of Intimacy three weeks ago. 166,000 plays. Yeah, on on, uh, on YouTube it has 40,000 views. I'm going to have to listen to that. Um... Yeah, no, the MGK one though, I just thought was interesting because, like, I like I've seen ever since you sent me it, I've seen more and more and more of them on like on of like people ripping him for it, and I'm sitting there like the, the flat soda one, and I've seen a bunch of them. Um, Snoop Dogg put out a new album. He did. Yeah. Let uh, did he put? He put it out last week, I think. Also, I, I love I love the. I mean, this is a couple weeks ago now, but I love uh, the uh, Fitty. Just looks like like people are saying that he looks fat. Fifty to me, dude, looks he's like, fucking. He, he looks like a fucking tank, bro. <laughs> I know he looks awesome. Like I was like, dude, he's just bulky. He's, dude, he's just he like got bulky in a good way. Like, mm. and then he's like just he's just a fucking beefcake. I don't know what people are saying. Like, I, uh, you I, see I, him I will, climb up that thing. Oh yeah, I will say like, though, I think that it, I think that they did him and. Um, Mary J dirty at one point where like they were doing one of the sets and then they went back to those two and they're like sitting on a fucking cat like on the sofa Ooh. like they're sitting on the sofa but you could visibly see that they were like <laughs> and I was like I was like I was like oh bro come on why why do you got to do them like that why 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 come on now they're like that oh, I I still haven't watched it I should, I should probably check it out it's it's very good yeah. bro especially for like our generation it's very good the people that are all yeah. her about it need to just shut the fuck up already like it like it was a very good halftime it was uh, like it was one of those things like it's the first halftime I've I've like actually watched in years so, uh, I really liked the uh, the Bruno Mars one I really liked. I don't, um, I don't even remember that one. So you like uh, <laughs> the Katy Perry one was really good. <laughs> oh, Katy I'm, Perry. I'm saying this. I'm saying this seriously. And then the J Lo Shakira one. Oh, Shakira was this the Shakira one where she like aggressively like tongue flicked at the screen. Like the ca- oh, like the yeah, camera was yeah, there. Yeah, and she yeah. was like ah. <laughs> yeah, the, sh- dude. They the oof. Sh- you know J Lo's got it, but like Shakira. <laughs> Shakira. Shakira. She is a beautiful woman. I know I am. A she is a beautiful uh, woman. I'm not, obje- yeah, I'm not objectifying her. She's beautiful. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, no, it's yeah. The halftime shows though, I just I don't know. I, I like I said, I liked it. I just thought it was funny that everyone's making fun of Fifty. Meanwhile, like me and like a bunch of other people that I know, oh, saw him and it was like. It looks like a fucking tank. Like, yeah, let's fucking get this, bro. Like, <laughs> like he didn't. He was like, I don't know, maybe ten. Okay, like you could argue, he's like probably ten percent body yeah, fat. Exactly. Like, like okay, it, dude looks better than half oh, the people. Fatty. Fucking, yeah, half the people saying that. You know, the dudes fucking out bench them and fucking beat the shit out of him. You know, so I was like, oh yeah, like when a guy <laughs> misses a kick and you're like, what a loser. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, what a bum. Can't even kick a field goal from thirty eight yards. Oh yeah, you go fucking do it, bro. Yeah. Just regular your dinner in a park. <laughs> oh man, yeah, no, it's that. that like I said, that, that that MGK one. Every time I see it on TikTok now, I'm just like, it was four years ago. Get the fuck over it. Uh, well, he did two. He did a couple songs. I think he did Skater Boy too. Yeah, no, he did. He did a. There was a few songs that had popped up, and they were all like. They, they, it's they make jokes, but they are like super flat, and you're like, "Oh, this mm. guy is a a singer." The one that I will say, and I don't know why he didn't fucking do it. Honestly, was um, did you hear any of the songs he was doing when like quarantine was like at its peak? So he did nope. like he did like seven or eight songs on YouTube, like he would just randomly release them, <clears throat> and they were actually very good. But yeah. then he like never put them out anywhere. And it was one of those things. It's like I like I remember I forgot who I was talking to. I may have been someone that I was working with at the time, and I was like, I was like, I don't know why he's just not releasing. This isn't like could, as could be a producer thing. Could be they reused a sample. You oh know, yeah, I be... just it was it was one of those things. Like I, I'll have to send you a couple of them so you can you know uh, contract give, thing. Give, give him a peep. Um, peep. Yeah, no. Uh, he was in uh, Jackass Forever. Was he? Oh yeah. Oh god, what are you doing there? He, uh... You know, remember? Did you see? Did you see three? 
Mountain Dew. I probably too, have it's... all of those. I mean, all the Jackass movies just meld into one for me. Now. Yeah. So you know the one where they're like walking into like a, a like like a kitchen and they have the hand and they let it go and it goes. Oh yeah, yeah, there, yeah. Yeah. Um. So they it was like that where they set it up where it was MGK against Stevo and they were on exercise bikes, and then so like so they were both like this and then the harder say like I'm right behind this hand if I start pedaling really fast this hand would go faster and then once it hits here it will go back and hit your opponent oh okay so it's Stevo against MGK oh my god how 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 yeah how was that Stevo won oh yeah it's um <clears throat> it, it was but like MGK like was like such a like a Trauma prima queen. donna oh yeah yeah because like it hit him into the pool and then he freaked out because the water was he was like the wall gonna gonna freeze and then like while like a few of the jackass guys are just chilling in the water watching it they're just like (laughs) and then he gets out and he's like i need a towel give me a towel right now and he's like freaking out Uh, that's awesome it was kind of funny i love that where everyone and everyone else was just like me yeah Let's say it's like I fucking, you know, like we said earlier, you know, at the beginning, you know, we we got like a foot of snow up here, you know, and I I put, I brought the shorts back out. I just shoveled my deck in Crocs. Yeah. Like, it, like it's just, it's, you know, it's one of those things. And the funny thing, and you're, you're like this as well. So, uh, ooh, now, 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 now here's, the, now here's the question that everyone has though. Do you wear them in relaxed mode or do you put them in sport mode? Always relax mode. Always, always, relax. always. You never, you never yeah. go sport mode. Never go sport mode. Right. Easy in, in and out. All right, fair. Um, so I went to, uh, I, I went to. Uh, I have the Post Malone Crocs, and I don't like them because they don't go into. Um, oh, really? They don't go into relax mode. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Hold up. <clears throat> okay, I love this. We're gonna take a brief, a brief uh, TV commercial timeout while Danute goes and gets his Post Malone uh, Crocs. Post Malone, if you're watching this, you're, you're never gonna watch this. But if you're watching this, they need relax mode. No idea what it looks like otherwise, but I mean, you, you gotta have the Croc. You gotta multi multi function, right? Some people, some people don't like the sport mode. Some people don't. As we're finding out, Danute's one of those people. Danute does not like the sport mode. I'm excited. I'm excited. I can only imagine these are all, all sorts of crazy looking. All right. So, first off, we have. Okay. We got our <coughs> pockets. You can hide stuff in them. Oh, okay. Leisure mode. These actually you got to put in sport mode. Okay. Right? So they're, it's, yeah, you can see that they're a little bit lower there. Yep. Yeah, I got uh, an extra pair of pinks because you can't find them anymore. Oh, really? Not that, not that color. Oh, okay, okay, good color, good color. We like that color here. And then <laughs> we have fuzzies. You know. Yeah, you know. Sometimes you just need with, to just chill out. You know. See, you have the those. Week. See, look, look, this just goes to show, kind of like. So you have those. I have these, which is just like the straight up, just old man slipper. Yep, old man slipper. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that's like, I don't like these because they're too warm. Oh, they're too warm and like. And so then these are the post Malones, and then, bro, what? <laughs> so, and then so like yeah, it has like this strap here. So like, I've worn these to the bar. They're a little excessive. Um, I, really, yeah, they, that's a little excessive. I... You have to wear them in sport mode. That's. That's kind of a, like that's kind of aggressive. It's, it's aggressive treading, yeah. That's like aggressive so, crocking right there. Yeah. So these these are. Uh, that's how I feel about those. Yeah, I mean, I don't blame you, bro. That's that's an aggressive croc, right there. Yeah. Aggressive croc. So <clears throat> that's how the crocs are. Okay. Now, what sort of croc is this? This is this is crocodile paisy. Okay. She she's camera shy. I can see this. She's cam- She's like she's, she's like I just want to fucking leave, Dad. Like, fucking ah, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, I've never she want to be far. I've never been a big Crocs person. Not gonna lie. Really? Yeah, I've never been a big Crocs person. They, see, my feet. I don't know about you. My feet sweat a lot. Mind you too. And I just I don't like it. Wet. I don't like it. I don't like the wet feeling. I don't. Mm, nope. Don't like it. So like my feet are sweaty right now, but it, like. 
there's a bunch of there's holes in them, you know. So like, oh, but still, like it just it don't. Come it, on, man. It don't do anything for me. You upset that I put you on camera? It's okay. Here. All right, fine. <laughs> no, Dad. All right. Uh, yeah, no, uh, that's, that's that's aggressive. It's croc life, dude. Croc life. Yeah, no. I, anytime I see anything based on Crocs, I send it to Fedge because Fedge. I'm like, upset. Fedge, oh really? Yeah. Well, Fedge always has. Uh, Fedge is always wearing Crocs, and then like I I think if I remember correctly, he wears Crocs to go to work, and then before he goes into work, he like changes out into his dress like dress slacks or like dress shoes, and then he comes yeah. back out and puts his Crocs. Like I could be wrong about that, but I've seen him do it before though. I've seen him go from <laughs> sneakers to Crocs before. You know, depending on situation, like out and about. <laughs> I'm upset because uh, I think one of the dogs um, chewed up that like that. Oh. So I can't, I can't find the other one of these. So I think one of the dogs chewed them up. I mean, that's fair. They probably looked yeah. at him and was like, "These are dumb." <laughs> well, come on now. I, I'm just come saying, on, out man. of all the out of all the Crocs you just showed us, yeah, that one's like a low cut Croc. With a very small pocket in the front. Well, I don't have to attack my Crocs. You don't have to attack them personally. I mean, I'm just attacking, I'm attacking one <laughs> well, of I'm them. I'm just staring at my pile of Crocs now. I, I'm staring at four pairs of pink Crocs. I love that. I don't know, I don't know what that says about me. I, I, do you, bro, if I just start saying that with me, like I'm currently looking at two bottles of Benadryl and one, two, three, four, five things of glitch on my desk right now. So, like, you know, what's that say about me? <laughs> Which also, by the way, I'm just going to quickly do a nice little quick shout out here. Brand new flavor. Panda Punch. Panda Punch? We got it in yesterday. It's fucking delicious. How is it? It's delicious. It's it's funny because like, so, okay, Panda Punch, what do you think? What do you think? I want to. I think it, uh, whew. what would a Panda Punch taste like? For some reason, I'm getting coconut and mango. Okay. That's interesting. Completely off. Interesting. <laughs> Alright, what is it? Alright, I'm sorry. <clears throat> so, it's, so it's, it's it's punch. It's like fruit punch. But the thing is, though, is that, like, so when I first saw it, I saw a panda punch. And I was like, okay, this is going to be, like, an ag like you know, we've been using the word for the last 20 minutes. So, an aggressive fruit, Aggressive. Like, an aggressive fruit punch, right? It yeah. was a very smooth, nice, delightfully tasting fruit punch that has a little bit more of a strawberry taste than anything. Okay. I, I can imagine, like, a panda punch not being intense, because, like, pandas are just lazy, and they sit around to eat all day. I mean, that's fair. <laughs> As you say, well, fucking... Also, the, the way that you're doing that right now, I love. I love that. But, you know, I mean, it's... I would argue... Oh, you don't go You don't go for the two-to-one? I do, but I take it fully out of the wrapper, though. I don't, I don't keep them in. I take them both out and then just jam them together. Um, have, you seen, like, have you seen... Have you seen those... Have you seen the new ones now that they have that are like the circular ones? No. So you can get ones that are circles. So it's literally like salami, a slice of cheese, and then salami. Oh, so do you like these too? Oh yeah, I, I, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm a big, I'm still a big fat kid, just because you know. So I got these because I knew I had to shovel a bunch yesterday. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm gonna be hungry. That's fair. Those and are good. I, those didn't are, eat them. I was gonna say those are good, good, just kind of snacky foods. Throw mm -hmm. that shit. Just throw that shit in. Actually, I don't even know. I'm going to read the calories, and I'm going to be like, oh, never mind. <laughs> that probably shouldn't be that bad. Really. 140 calories. Yeah, I was going to That's say, actually, it shouldn't that's be That's not that bad. I mean, the, the, the Nature Valley bar here that I have that I haven't eaten yet is 170. Okay. Actually, yeah, so that's not that bad. Yeah. It's keto. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to keep the keto guido. Yeah, keto. You know, just... But, um, you know, yeah, Panda Punch isn't bad, though. I would, I would say it's the second best flavor that they have. But it's limited. Um, it's limited. That's the thing. I have some G Fuel or something <gasps> on the ground. I can't remember what it is. How dare you? This, uh, this I, is I, a glitch I, family. No. <laughs> I was, all right, send me a tub. I mean, I. So. Do you have a, do you have a code? Uh, I I do. It's like if it's like a forty dollar. Like if you spend forty bucks, then you get like something off or something like that. Here's me I on the bike. It. I love it with and the cro with the Crocs. That seat, bro. I I want. I I think you should just do like just an OnlyFans account that's just like that though. Just, pictures just like me that. and my Crocs. Just you and your Crocs on like the motorcycle, yeah. just seductively looking over. You know, just hey, hey, 
Um, hey. Yeah, no, they, uh, it's, it's funny. So I put up uh, I put up my video for it yesterday. They yeah. liked and commented on my Instagram. They shared they shared it on Twitter, and then they actually commented on, commented on it on YouTube. So it's kind of fucking, you know, kind of cool seeing that. Like it's, I said, I support this company wholeheartedly because they've been supporting me since day one. So the very first react, the very first reaction video I did of them, they they immediately shared it and was like, "Welcome to the family." I was like, "All right, cool." Glitch energy. Yep. Let's. This is good con pod, uh, podcast content, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. Here I'm looking up glitch energy. <sighs> oh, hand a punch. It's yellow. Oh, I like those uh, special bottles. Yeah. So so the the panda punch doesn't come in a tub. It's just stim packs, which I thought was kind of interesting, but I kind of also like it. Um, so I bought the uh, the shaker as well. I bought the shaker bundle and then just a regular stim pack bundle. But um, so they have five flavors as of right now. Two of them are limited. One of them you can't get, which is Wildberry Freeze, which is Wildcat the streamer, and Panda Punch is Big uh, Big Jiggly Panda the streamer. Okay. I think Wildcat is the co-owner. So when are we getting uh, a husky flavor? I, bro, I've been saying about it for a while. I've I've mentioned it multiple times. Yeah. I've been trying to figure out what flavor I'd want, especially after they did Cyber Sunrise. I don't think I can do mine now. Um, I actually like that. Uh, I don't know Panda at all, but I actually like that that the shaker bottle. I actually have the same shaker bottle, but black, and mm. I. That's what you know. Living in a house with other people, it just disappeared. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's yeah. unfortunate. I like. I bought it with like a tub of glitch. A <laughs> uh, not glitch. Sorry, <laughs> no free shout outs. I bought it with a, a no tub free of shout outs from me. <laughs> I bought a tub of G fuel. They hooked it up. They did not hook it up. And <laughs> I was uh, say we're gonna have an internal battle here to see which, uh, which company this first. <laughs> and I yeah, and it's it's gone. It's that's what you know, living with two other people. That's what happens. Yeah, no, I have back when I was buying. Uh, sneak i bought like every single shaker they had now i just kind of I've, now that i've switched over to glitch i have two i have two of these ones which are the this bro this is a blender bottle yeah, that's what i'm saying like that's exactly like i have a, a nice yeah like it's like blender it's, bottle yeah it's, yeah it's 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 a badass fucking bottle they don't have a, a ton of flavors no they don't they're, they're very new very new year like a year in i think so I mean the main What's your favorite so far? So my favorite is the Wildberry Freeze, which they don't have. Okay. That's that's the Wildcat special limited edition one. All right. Um Panda Punch is number 2 cuz it's just such a smooth like in the let's put it like this. I did like a 10 minute reaction video, right? The yeah. first like 3 minutes of it is me opening up like the box and everything and like showing everything. The second half of it I basically drank an entire thing of it. Like, like caffeine. <laughs> well, it, was, it tasted good, bro, and it was it was smooth. That was the other thing. It's like it literally like it was just a smooth taste. Um, mm -hmm. Cyber Sunrise is nice. It's like a um, like a citrusy kind of you know uh, mango, pineapple, orange that sort of flavor. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Spaceberry, uh, Spaceberry, and Electric Lemonade were the original two, and Spaceberry is delicious. Electric Lemonade is very flat. I will say that. I was expecting Electric Lemonade to be sour as fuck, and it wasn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So I, do I, they do they have like official streamers other than Panda? Um, I think it's I think it's Panda and Wildcat the main two right now. Panda, Panda, Panda. Um, yeah. but yeah. I think I, there are some people that have like creator codes and stuff. <sighs> All right. Uh, I did, actually... and I can't wait to have it in my face. That's a comment by Big Husky on Glitch Energies. Uh, picked the, was it? Who picked up some Panda Punch mm -hmm. today? I did, and I can't wait to have it in my face. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to have it in my face, and I and I got it in my face, and it was delicious. I'm gonna have some in a little bit. I I think I've actually seen that uh, that streamer, Big Jiggly. I uh, I feel like I had two, and then I went and follow I went and followed him recently on everything. He might just um, be generic white guy. Yeah, generic white guy number three. Um, like all of us, I I actually think that that's what it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I mean, I would say this though, like, so I was buying from Sneak for like two years, the first yeah. two years of me streaming. They never once gave me like a shout out. They barely fucking responded in DMs or comments. Like they barely were doing anything. Um, I got used in one of their promotional videos without them telling me, 
And then, like, it was like, they were like, oh, sorry. And then they're like, do you want, like, a free tub of something? I was like, I already have a bunch of, like, I already have a bunch of your products. I was like, you're doing a brand new legacy drop. But I'm not, up, I, I, you're using me as part of the promotion, but I'm not getting anything from it. Like, what the fuck is this? You know? Yeah, you're like, oh, wh whatever happened with, did anything ever, not, I didn't know if it was ever going to come from it, but, like, how was the Ubis Ubisoft? The Ubisoft thing the was kind of, uh, the Ubisoft thing was funny because, like, so I got the messages and everything, got the emails, went back and forth on that. Uh, um, They put out the video. I'm in it, like, seven times. I was expecting me to be in it, like, once. And I'm in it like seven times. I kind of was like, that was kind of wild. Um, but, and for everyone that doesn't know, uh, I did a reaction to um, Dawn of Ragnarok for the Assassin's Creed game. Um, I did a reaction video for it, and it got a good amount of views. It's like at like 2.5K, I think, something like that. So it's gotten a decent amount of views. And uh, I got contacted by Ubisoft, and they were like, hey, we're going to do a video kind of, you know, sh a video just showing everyone's reactions because this is kind of, you know, popping off and, you know, looks like it's going to be huge, so uh, is it okay if we use you in it? And I was like, sure, I can send it, you know? Um, and yeah, I thought I was going to be in it like once or twice, and nope, I was in that shit. It opened with you. I op it opened with me, I was in it like seven times. The one thing that I did like was that there's one part where like, it, it shows me, and I'm like, okay, there's the Jotuns. I was like, oh, are we on, are we in Muspelheim? Is that Surtur? You know, like that sort of thing. And then the very next dude is like, Oh, it looks like they're going through the mythological aspect of this. Like, that's all he says. I'm saying that, like, that's that just looks bad for that guy. Like, I'm sorry, dude. Like, You're like, they, oh, they, they're going. Yeah, they, they put you on after me. Oh, the dude, Yeah, they, they put you on after me, the dude who literally just, like, listed off the actual mythological names and shit and stuff. And then you're like, oh, this looks like it might be mythological based. <laughs> huh. Oh. But, um, you know, uh, uh, that came out. Um, I didn't really hear anything. They put they put it up online. They commented everyone. They shared everyone in it and everything. Um, I saw a small bump in uh, stuff. And then I had someone come into my comments and they were like, Hey, I just saw you in that video. And I was like, Oh, that's awesome. Thanks for stopping by. What did you think? And he's like, It sucked. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> They're like, reaction videos are the lowest form of... I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm just like, I was like, I was like, I was like... Alright. Uh, okay, like, thanks for... Fair enough. Thanks it for stopping funny. by and just saying that, like, I... Like, well, well, it's the same thing, like, have you ever played with someone, or you've been playing, and someone would be like, hey, I'm playing with you right now. And you're like, oh, cool. Thanks. And they're like, yeah, you're a fucking loser with your five people watching you. They're like, okay. I've had, I've had, um... I've had people in the Madden community come in, and you look like a hobo, shave your beard, why don't you just kill yourself, you're a fucking loser, like that sort of thing, and I'm like, the best one though that I had was I had someone come in, and they're like, I'm gonna try and sne stream snipe into your game, and I was like, oh, okay, I'm a fucking small streamer with three viewers, go right ahead, stream snipe me all you want, <clears throat> like three games later, he's like, take a look at your team. So I looked at my team, and he was on my team. So not only did he stream snipe into my game, he didn't get in the opposite team. He got on my team, and it he's was like we're gonna make it happen. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the thing. He's like, he's like, he's like, get ready for this shit. He played Mercy the entire game and only pocketed me as Ryan. I had like fifty six kills, like fifteen thousand damage. Like I fucking went off. Like I put up the video of it because it's like the best I've ever played ever yeah and it was like hey, thanks stream sniper. <laughs> well, that's the thing. It's like so it was because of the stream sniper, but then my buddy was also a healer. So they literally didn't heal anyone but me the entire game. You're like, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I was like, I was like, I move forward. I Reinhardt. I have shield. I have hammer. I move forward. They protect me. I protect them. <laughs> they protect. I attack. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. It's like it's like positive stream sniping, which you don't see. Exactly. I just I, I I other than that though, I don't think I've ever really had anyone come in and be like, oh, you suck, you know, like that sort of thing, like from. Like, uh... Yeah, yeah, which is weird because I don't have TV or anything in my name, mm -hmm. and like, it. I'm like, so like, all I could think is that like that's what gets gets them off because like, I there, there's been a couple times where I I didn't play with anyone with the TV in their name, and then they'll come in and be like, dude, I'm playing I'm playing against you right now, you fucking suck, and I'm like, how did you know I was streaming? Yeah, 
Like, yeah, like you, you just like every game, look at every person on your team, and then look up to see if they right, have a Twitch account. That was what I was about to say. It's like, it's like I would almost be like, all right, th- like thank you for taking the time and effort to you know raise my yeah. numbers in the algorithm because you decided to look to see you know if the guy that's kicking your ass is fucking you know online right there, now or not. There was uh, we were playing Halo. It's uh, we were playing ranked, and we were we actually did get stream snipers. Oh really? Which was weird because uh, one of the kids I was playing with was had TV in his name, and like he like he came and even commented even, which was, and like that's happened a few times, and that's That's a weird concept. It's so it's so weird. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's. I want to say I I do it every now and then. But it's only if the person that I'm with is being a douchebag. Like, I got that happened like a couple weeks ago in Apex. Yeah. One of the teammates decided we all died. And then he said, and then he ran his mouth. So I looked up, saw he was streaming. I went and immediately went into his chat and he immediately was like, oh, no, I never said that. I'm sorry, dude. Like, I didn't know. Like, I'm sitting there like, yeah, fuck. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, the worst one, we were playing Rogue Company and we were playing this sniper. And it was like a very similar situation. Remember that the, when we were playing and that one guy popped off? Oh, as the, fuck, as the yeah. Lancer. Mm-hmm. So it was like a very similar thing, but it was a sniper. The sniper, I can't remember. Rogue? Nah, that's not her name. Mm. Um, Whatever her name is. Mm. So, and like, she Phantom. she was like, Phantom. Mm-hmm. Phantoms, yo. So she would like forward roll and mm-hmm. then shoot behind her, not even turning, and then keep running forward. and But like hit headshots. And like that, and we were like, dude, this, this person's cheating. And then... I, that was one of the situations. Not playing with any streamers, um, they came into my chat and were like, "That was me. I wasn't cheating." I'm like, "How do you know?" <laughs> I'm like, w- "Like you're you're only making me think you are cheating because you're like how like you found me on Twitch mm-hmm. mid game, and like we're listen- like what's going on here? You were listening enough to hear me say that you were a cheater, like <laughs> and yeah, and I'm on the other team, and that's not how Rogue come. You can't hear the other team." Mm-hmm. Like it, that, and that was the craziest thing. And then they dropped me a follow too. I was like, "What?" And they were like being nice. And I was like, "What? What? What is going on?" They're like, "Dude, you played a good game." I was like, "Go away!" <laughs> I'm so confused. Yeah, my toxicity is telling me something is wrong. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you, you nice guy. Yeah, no, I used to do. I used to do it with uh, Madden after a little bit. I put it on follower only, and I'll just still. I'll have people come in, follow me. You fucking suck, and then like immediately unfollow me, and then like like a couple minutes later refollow me to type something again. And I'm sitting there like, do you really have nothing better to do on a fucking Saturday at fucking seven p.m.? Like I don't. <laughs> what are you doing for the rest of your Saturday? Speaking of Saturdays, me. Yeah. Uh, let me take a look at my little checklist here. Um, I gotta record Madden, <laughs> and I gotta make thumbnails for it. I gotta record a bunch of stuff for the USFO draft that happened. Um, record uh, the effing title 108. Um, and then I gotta make an Apex video. So basically, it's just all editing. I'm not getting on stream tomorrow. With, you, with with us doing this today instead of tomorrow, instead of what I'm gonna do is tomorrow I'm gonna play a new game. Oh, Say so it worked out. Instead, I just flipped, yeah. I flipped what I was gonna do. I'm gonna go see uh, Bonobo tomorrow. Bonobo. Bonobo. Yes. Bonobo. I know exactly yes. what that is, but for the people at home that don't know what Bonobo is... It's electric, electronic music. Mm, for... Yes, electronic. Yeah, Elect- electronic. Mm. Sounds, uh, like, it sounds like Transformers fucking... No, it's... Uh, oh, it, is it different? It's, it, it's more like uh, jazz-inspired and world mm, music-inspired. Okay. Uh, not a lot of lyrics, but it's more... It's, it's not dance music. How about that? Fair. It's not, e- it's not EDM. Sounds like fun, nonetheless. Yeah, uh, going alone. Oh, I support th- doing things alone. Uh, I've then I'm se- I've seen him again next weekend. So I just you just fucking sending it. Yeah, and uh, I can. S- yep, next weekend will be a live podcast. I'll be back. I'm going away Friday, Saturday, back Sunday. Mm, there you go, everyone. See, I'm making shit work here. Yeah. Um, you yeah, know, I've always been wanting to do the alone thing because there's a, there's a, uh, one of the places down the road actually has really good food, but every time I think about going there by myself, I just don't. Instead, I just go back to bed. Yeah, I'll be in Burlington next weekend. Oh, okay. If you, make, if you want to make your way over. Yeah, okay. Let me just start walking now. <laughs> yeah, just start walking now. 
Can't get there from here. <laughs> Can't get there from here. Um. Uh, yeah. I think it's, I, I don't know, it's, I'm going to smoke some meat today. Ooh, I got a big old, big old two pound ribeye. Ooh, big old. I got and I got a rack of ribs. Mm. I had a one of my coworkers uh, when I was coaching. He would smoke salt every now and then. It's kind of weird. Okay, no I, people like that, and then uh, you could bake with it too. Mm -hmm. I used like to cookies because <clears throat> I used to do. I used to make my own salt. I don't know if you know that or not. I used to. I have like my own little like like a uh, pedestal, pedest, pedestal, whatever the fuck it's called there, pedestal. Or a pestle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I used to make my own salt. Uh, like out of what? Like I, so, I get just the crystals, put it in, and yeah. then I'd mix a bunch of different crystals together, and then I would crush it together to make the fine okay. salt powder. I feel like artisanal salt was really big in like 2015. Probably. 14, 15. Yeah, that's that's about when I was doing it. So that's like when like Himalayan salt was like, "Yo, check out this new shit. It's pink. Mm -hmm. check, out, um, check out this shit. Pink and good for you. Oh, it's pink. It's chunky. So I got uh, a. Yeah, so I got like a nice little blend of. Uh, I got a after after get off here. I'm gonna go uh, season my steak, Ooh. and then I'll start my fire. Then uh, get my ribs going. Nice. Yeah, I'm literally. Yeah, just, so. My day is literally just going to be sitting here and just editing and then doing some games. And I got to do some research for the USFL draft thing that I'm doing. So. Is that what's the USFL? The United States Football, Football League. That's a new. It's a new summer league that they're starting up this year. Okay. Oh, brand new. Mm -hmm. So they did a draft this past week. What um, was? What was that league they did last year? Uh, they, two, so two years ago, they did the XFL. So recently, we've had the AAF. Yeah, that's which what was the Alliance of American Football? And that, that was and that, that was okay. Then that one was that, is that done? Mm -hmm. okay. So that one folded, and then I went into the XFL. The XFL was doing very well, actually, but uh, at the height of COVID, it uh, got taken out. So Dwayne is Dwayne is now running the show, and he's trying to get it as the like feeder league, minor league of the NFL. And their preseason and everything, or their training camps, is it training camps? Or is it just player selection? Something starts next year. Next year, January, like, stuff officially starts for them. COVID kind of threw a monkey wrench into a, a mm -hmm. lot of things. Which sucks, because yeah. that, was, that was actually a very, like, it was wild seeing the numbers increase, the players, and, like, the players getting more notice, you know, they changed some rules up, and the rules were actually better. Like, the funniest one was that they changed it so that they had, uh, like, an official in the booth. So if they wanted to. And then it would go to the official in the booth, and this is all you'd see. You'd see the official in the booth like this, with a controller. Like, and then they'd be like, nope, it looks like he's, hold up a second, let me switch, let me, let me turn the, let me go to the camera angle three. And you'd hear him, like, press the button, and then they would, you know. But it's like, they were using, like, an Xbox controller, though. To like change the angle of cameras and stuff to see and view and everything, it was really fucking cool. But like so yeah. they had like the eye in the sky, so if there was anything that happened and they thought it was wrong, they could challenge it from the booth. That might, uh, yeah, that's good because they're like, hey, because then like you don't have that thing where like you know, mm -hmm. what was that game? It was like when in the playoffs where they're like. They're like, that fucker lost the game for us. Oh, there's been fucking tons of them at every game. But yeah. it was just, uh... Uh, but yeah, no, like, yeah, it's it was really cool because like you saw it and it actually changed. Like there was a couple games where like it was like it was like yeah, no, that was that. Yeah, he stepped out of bounds at the 35 yard line. Like if you look at this angle, you know, I'm looking at this angle from here. He's a good, you know, like couple inches outside of the you know the lines. Like yep, like overturn that, send him back. You know, and it was like a long touchdown run brought all the way back sort of thing. So it was like it was kind of cool seeing that sort of stuff, but like they did that, they did um, a new thing for extra points, um, where you go for one point, two point, or three points, and it was just to backing them up, which was kind of cool. Um, I think they, I think they changed something on kickoff, but I could be wrong about that. But they they were doing a ton of different stuff, but it was really unique the stuff that they were doing. And like I said, like popularity for it was growing, everything for it was growing. The ticket sales were good, like the players were actually like enjoying it, like. You know, it was just, it was overall, it was just a very good fucking league. And I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm really excited to see that come back. And it is interesting now hearing that they're trying to get, like, the NFL's blessing to be, like, a minor thing, which is kind of really fucking be the cool. G, be the G League? Well, I mean, it brings up this thing now. is like, do you have it run alongside the NFL, or do you have it be its own separate entity outside of the NFL? Because both of them have, you have the perks for both of those. Cause then I you think have, it would, yeah, it would only be good for them, because, like, 
I mean, that's tax write offs, baby. Mm -hmm. I mean, and the other thing is like it's it's cool because like if it's in the off season, right? Then you can get a look at players that didn't get looks in the season fully. You can get a, you know a full look of them outside of it. You can get a look at all this stuff. You know, see them. It lets these players just don't they don't have to worry about other stuff when the season rolls around. They can fully join teams if they want to. But then the cool thing about it being in season is that you could have it be in season and have it be one of those things where their games are like Tuesday, Wednesday. Because then you could literally have football from Thursday all the way th through base, or it's you could have an itch. Yeah, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But then like, let's say this, right? Let's say you start like uh, one of your running backs go down, right? Instead of going to your practice squad, you call someone up from your XFL team that you're affiliated with. So it would allow that to happen too. I don't. I don't. It's like it would, I said. It's, I, it's, I just don't think the NFL would let it happen. It's like it, I don't. It's interesting seeing how it's going. I'm, I, I, I hope it does because I think it would be beneficial yeah. for both parties. You know, it would give the XFL the much needed kind of backing that it needs. But then also, it think, would allow the NFL to grow to become better because now you have a bigger pool of talent that you can draw from that are ready to play. Exactly. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I just think that uh, the NFL is just filled with too much of a geezer mentality. Mm -hmm. Oh, it really is. No, it's, nothing, nothing new. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that needs to change in the NFL, but um, I like I said, I, I think I, I, I think either way it would work well. I would like to see it in the off season though, because I think that would be fill fill more of an itch the people would have of you know not having football all year round, which is why I started my Madden franchise that I was talking about earlier. <laughs> or even it could lead in going into preseason. Well, like that's, that's the thing. Right? So, like, think about it. Like, if you have it and, you know, if you, you know, if you start it, like, you know, I think the other league's starting in April. If you have, like, a three- or four-month thing, April, you know, May, June, July sort of thing, then August, you know, end of August is with training camps. You know, now you have players that are fresh. You've just seen what they can do against people of their same talent. You know, you can bring people in for preseason. You can have them try out stuff. You can have them do stuff, and they're fully fresh. The only thing, though, that would suck with that is that then you do then technically you could have some people doing like a full season and then doing another full season. Yeah, which would then bring up the health and wellness part of it again. But but you gotta earn your stripes. Exactly. I mean, it's one of those things. You if you're if you're if you're down in that league, that means that you're trying to you know crawl your way up. One of my favorite players, um, Oregon Stewart. Um, guy I followed on Instagram at one point, I drafted him on Madden when I was doing my 65 and under franchises. Um, I remember I did something, I got like a pick with him. I put it up on Instagram. He liked it, shared it, commented on it, like that sort of thing. I was like, I was like, let's go baby. And then like a, a, a couple, like, uh, like a year or two Madden's later, I was like, look, I was like, anytime I do a fantasy draft, this dude is the first guy I draft every fucking year because he's the man. He responded back. He, you know, he he's actually, my dude. He, yeah, he's my dude. So I did that and he commented back on that, liked it and everything. So I've been following him since like those moments happened. And he went from the XFL, AF, AF XFL. He was playing really well in those, got onto the practice squad with Tampa and then got hurt. And he's been rehabbing since. So he just got signed to my to my team that I'm following in the USFL. They drafted him, like complete. What fucking, team is that? Uh, Michigan Panthers. Michigan Panthers. Yeah. Um. So like he got drafted by them, and immediately I'm like, that's fucking awesome. Like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm excited. So, but yeah, I gotta do. Are you, I just realized. Are you wearing a Funko Pop T-shirt? Yes, I am. Who is? What's the Funko Pop? Aquaman. Okay. Yeah. There's, there's a. <laughs> no, I was just like, I saw the head and I was mm -hmm. like, huh. Yeah, I have a bunch of different Funko Pop t shirts, actually, because I was doing. At one point, Funko was doing collector boxes. Yeah. And they did a DC one. Oh, okay. And it was just every every month, or it was either every month or every other month, it was just like a random new thing. So you'd get like a t shirt, a pin, an actual like limited edition Funko Pop that only came from buying it, sort of thing. Yeah. And this was one of those. It was like a, uh, it was like a bundle where like I got like a, it's this image in a Funko Pop, which is him stabbing one of the trench, um, but it's like a Funko Pop version, and then it came with the T-shirt too, and then okay. I bought that, and then like two weeks later they're like, oh by the way we're also making it in white. So I was like, like not the shirt, but like a black and white version of the Funko Pop. So I'm like, yeah. <sighs> take, take how many Funkos do you have now? Uh, do you know? I haven't updated my list in I haven't updated my list in a long time, to be hundred percent honest with you. So the and you've last time, yes, yeah, so the last time I updated my list was 
uh, December 1st, 2020. Okay, yep. So. And that's my list for anything DC-based, so even comics, um, which I haven't really been buying a whole lot of. Um, but the last check count that I had, I was at 118 for DC. And that's that's not including back here. That's a lot of funkies. Yeah, that is. That's what happens. How many there. do I have? That's a... I was gonna say, I see what uh, two. I have uh, I have three, and then well, I have a well, I have three, and then I have a one box that has three in them. Oh, okay. I have a uh, so I guess I have five Tron Funko Pops I and a Master it. Chief. Funko Pop. I love it. I love that. Yeah, I love yeah. that for you. You know, there's some more. There's some more that I want to get. I just you want to see my my Tron. I'm proud of it. Of course, I want to see your Tron. You love that shit. Let's see. I got a. Uh, this, this, this is how we will end it's, this: is you showing us our it's like Kingdom Hearts Funko Pop. That's awesome. It's Thor, Donald, and Goofy, and then you know MCP. Actually, that's not MCP. I can't, I can't remember that guy's name. Then I have Tron. Autism. Hmm. Um, man. Well, that's a good. Uh, it was our first recorded one. I think it went well. mm Hmm. It's weird seeing you in the daylight. Yeah, right. It's weird being it's around so him. <laughs> it's so bright. It's so um, But for everyone out there, I hope you all are having a great weekend, weekday, week, whatever the fuck it is for you watching this. Listening to this, as always, um, it's a great time with uh, Danute here, with the boy. Um, and as always, depending on where you are, Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Still trouble, stay safe, and we will talk to y'all later. Bye. Bye.